Sam. All right, nine minutes. I've got a Pluto clock to the closest approach right in front of me now. Nine minutes, 31, 30 seconds. This is really, really, really close. Did you know that Pluto has a heart-shaped birthmark and that it was really reddish-hued? Uh, it took nine years traveling three billion miles, and now NASA's New Horizons mission will fly right by Pluto. Dave Malkoff joins us right now from uh, Laurel, Maryland. Hey, Dave, everybody, you got a room full of very excited people, and I can't even believe the stuff we yeah. already know. A new world. Really yeah, we know that Pluto is a little bit bigger than we thought and a little bit colder than we thought. This is a block of dry ice, 109 degrees below zero. The surface temperature of Pluto is about four times colder than this. Take a look. For 85 years, humans have known about the planet Pluto, yet it's only existed as an animation from the mind of an artist. The best telescope there is only sees it as a blob, and now we're seeing it as a world. To get this kind of picture, you need to launch a rocket ship. The New Horizons mission to Pluto has been speeding away from Earth for nearly a decade. Now it's finally there. There's something about Pluto. People just love learning about it. That's incredible. You have a mission to Pluto? They do, and it arrives this morning. There will be discoveries about the surface, its moons, how Pluto was formed, even what the weather's like 4.6 billion miles from you. One Pluto year is nearly 250 Earth years. It's that far away from the sun. Yet, there's an atmosphere. Do you expect to see clouds? We do. Not water clouds, but we might see methane clouds. There's seasons? Yes, there's definitely seasons. But Is there Pluto rain? I don't think there's Pluto rain, but there could be Pluto snow in certain situations. Really? Yes, yeah, so you might see a little settling of tiny little particles. I don't know if you'd call it snow, but methane and nitrogen and other things, exotic things. Even at the speed of light, it takes over four hours to send a signal between Pluto and the Earth. On the 4th of July, Mission Control lost contact. New Horizons is a bit of a family, but I never heard a single person say anything about a 4th of July commitment. On a holiday, the family pulled together, got it all back online with the clock ticking down. So this is a scale model here. You built this. This is going to outlast the pyramids. It's going to outlast the Earth, possibly. It will outlast the Earth. Something that you built. Yeah, it's an amazing thought. Their hard work will fill our grandchildren's textbooks. Some people think Pluto's not big enough to be the ninth planet, but you won't find them here. I don't really mind what you call it. I'm more interested in how it works. I want to know what the weather's like on Pluto. I don't care if it, it's the planet Pluto or the dwarf planet Pluto. One person on Earth who's been in just in six minutes and 50 seconds, this place is going to go crazy when the probe turns around. The New Horizons starts taking all that data, so much data that once it flips around and points back to here to send all the data back to Mission Control, it's going to take over a year to get all that data back. We're going to learn so much here that's going to change the textbook, Sam. It's going to be well, everything we know uh, about Pluto is happening right wrong, now yeah. in They're five minutes and 50 food. seconds. <laughs> I got to say, Dave, this is absolutely fascinating because truly, and it's out on Twitter right now, what we used to think Pluto, we just knew it was kind of blurry. And now we know it has color like Mars. Now we know it's got that heart-shaped birthmark. What are they saying about that, that heart-shaped area that they just discovered? Have built, uh, an instrument well, there's dark parts of Pluto. That, that's that's a, that's dark parts that have kind of like an ash that falls from the sky when when there's all sorts of materials get up there, carbon dioxide and methane, and they fall down. And they kind of have a soot that that, uh, that layers on the surface. But then there's very light parts, which are those frost parts. So you've got very dark parts and very light parts. We'll know all about it in just a few minutes. Sam. Dave, fascinating. Five minutes and thirty. 30, 29, 28 seconds, and we get our closest pass at Pluto ever. All right, chance of afternoon thunderstorms rolling along Florida, South Florida's coast. We'll talk to you, uh, Miami. We are looking at you. Good morning.